How to prepare a speech in five minutes. Oh man, have you ever been in this position? It's actually kind of crazy, but it's awesome as well. I'm gonna give you some great tips as to how you can do this and do it effectively. I've been in this position in my career many times. It's not all the time in a professional setting. It's usually in a religious or church setting, but there are many ways in which you can come up with a speech in five minutes, make it awesome. I'm gonna show you how. I've been doing this as a career for almost a quarter of a century, and so in terms of of speaking, yes, you're in good hands. Let's work on your five minute speech. First of all, you need to know your audience. Understanding your audience is the first crucial step to creating a five minute speech. Knowing exactly what they're there to hear and what they're expecting out of somebody is really the most important piece. I remember one time I showed up at an event with my children and it was at a church gathering where we were all there to hear one specific speaker for about two hours. The guy never showed up. And so guess what they did? They turned and everyone looked at Mr. Jason Hewlett the only professional speaker in the whole place. <laughs> I went, oh man, what am I speaking on? And then I remembered, oh yeah, we're just going to be listening to this speaker who is hopefully going to show up about social media and how parents can help their children with that. I thought really briefly and quickly about all the things that have bothered me as a dad in social media, how my own interaction has affected my life and my promises within my own social media behavior. And then I thought about the audience. I asked a couple of people really quickly. I said, hey, what concerns you the most about social media? Or why did you come to this presentation today to listen to this guy that's not going to come anymore? And as they gave me five minutes to prepare and gather my thoughts, I then stood up and gave a 45 minute presentation that kind of blew the audience away. I had never done this event before or spoken about this topic, but because I understand what the audience wants from this moment, I was able to deliver something pretty powerful. Hey, luckily for me, the guy did show up. He had been in a car accident, so it was a bummer, but he showed up still. I think he he brought an Uber. It was crazy. And he showed up and he delivered the rest of his message. This was a really fascinating experience for me to realize that I now know how to teach you how to give a five minute speech. Did you hear some of the things that I just said? Yes, those will be helpful to you. Knowing your own experience within the topic itself and knowing especially what the audience wants to hear. Another thing you can do is use social media or other types of media in order to discover what the audience wants to take away. This is a cool thing. In fact, you can look at the agenda of a conference or of a community or a religious setting where you realize, oh, this was the topic. I think I can talk on that. And then you go to work. The next point would be to create your core message. I would like to emphasize the point of having a focused core message that you generally can always talk about. There are ways that I can manipulate pretty much any topic to fit within what I already speak about all the time. So as long as you have something that you're very comfortable with. In fact, I have stories that allow me to integrate them within different leadership topics or really in any setting. They can be funny, they can be poignant, they're the same story just the way that I deliver them. But my core message is about promises as well as signature moves. We all have talents and gifts and strength that make us unique. We all need to make and keep promises and so I can fit pretty much any topic into that aspect and clarity of a message. How do you figure out your core message? You need to do some prep work first so then you can rely on some of those stories, some of those points when you come up against this type of challenge of creating a speech in five minutes. One of the most important things that you can do is share your own authenticity, your gifts, that which makes you unique. You see, a lot of people seem to figure that they need to share something else or they need to read something. In reality, you can just share the best of who you are. It's your signature moves. Yes, I talk about it all the time. I'm gonna help you discover more about your signature moves as we wrap up this video. But before I wrap up this video, I have some other points I need to share with you because you still need to figure out your five minute speech and how to create it. What I want you to do is if you're brave enough to comment in the comment section below, I want you to actually write in there what is your core message. Just as I would type in signature moves or the promise, what's yours? I'd like to know what it is so I can also see what you do and cheer you on in your core message. Let's talk about the rule of three. For whatever reason, scientifically it says that the human mind loves things in threes. Yeah, think about threes, three points and a poem, maybe three poems and a point. Many preachers have been doing this for centuries. They have three 
points, and then they end it with a poem. You can easily do this to create a very nice speech. In fact, every single one of us have at least three stories we can share, or we might have three points we want to deliver and then put the points with stories. Next thing you know, you have a nice big speech. What you can also do is open up your phone or your computer, and as you're starting to prepare this five minute speech, maybe even just look up three quotes that you could share. And remember, it's okay to read them. You can use notes while you're giving this, I only had five minutes to prepare a speech. Don't ever fear about that. Nobody will care. You can also support your stories or your quotes with technicalities. You could find some science behind it. It just depends on how much you want to get into it, into the depth of what you're talking about. So truly identify three points that support your core message. That's one of the things that I would recommend you do right away. Because when I talk about the promise, I talk about three elements of a promise. The first is that we all have a promise to our audience or the people we serve. The second is the promise to the family, which is the people that we love. And the third is the promise to ourselves. And so I can formulate any kind of a speech within those three points. What are your three points of your core message? The next point is to add stories and examples. So you you could tell a bunch of different stories and create a speech out of that, certainly, and they all might drive to one main point. Or you could have multiple points and then create stories or insert stories to support those different points. One of the best ways I've seen this happen is through deciding for yourself that you have one core story that you're going to share. Maybe it's about what the audience is interested in hearing. Maybe it's something that you know that they need to hear but they weren't expecting. Now when you share that story, you have the opportunity to then insert the different points and the factoids that you know about it and then you can also start to do more in the storytelling and sharing more examples. So for example at NSA that's called the National Speakers Association and that's something I highly recommend you join because there's a lot of speakers there that are figuring out how to do this very thing. Maybe not a five minute speech but how to create a core message. When you're coming up with your five minute speech yes you're under the gun but as long as you're prepared and you've been part of a community of people that have been working on their speaking then you'll have more of a chance to making this successful. But one of the things that NSA makes us do, which is really cool, is they say you need to choose one story and you need to just tell that story. Don't go off on too many tangents, just tell your one story. As you practice this, you'll be able to realize that if you are called upon in a last second situation to create five minute speech, you can say to yourself, oh yeah, I do have stories I have crafted that can fill the time, but not in a way that it's empty filler. It's the kind of fill that will actually fill the soul of the listener. So I want you to quickly think about what are some of the stories that you could tell, whether it was just sitting at the dinner table with your family or your friends, or in a business setting where you might share a story about what happened yesterday. This is how you can come up with a speech in five minutes. Being somebody who really works on storytelling is one of the smartest things you can do. You can even talk about something that happened to you yesterday. Try to make it into a five minute story, then a 10 minute story. What are the characters like? What are the points that you learned? Could you insert some motivational quotes? There's all kinds of ways to make this work. Now you need to craft your opening and your closing. This one's really tricky when you only have five minutes to prepare, but I think you're going to be fine because of what I'm about to tell you. The first 30 seconds and the closing 30 seconds can make or break your speech, so it's very important. There's lots of different methodology behind what should open a speech. But you usually would open with something that engages the audience. You could ask a question. You could tell a funny joke or a funny story. You could give a great factoid. There's all kinds of ways that you can do this. But when you come up with something that you can share that's really engaging with the audience's mind, one of my favorite quotes that I've come up with is, why set a goal when you can make a promise? The next thing I know, the audience is engaged with me and then I can speak about that for quite a while. The closing is the most important, powerful part of your speech because it's what they're going to remember. So save your best story for last. If you're a singer, save your biggest best song. If you're an entertainer or a comedian, save your funniest bit for the end. This is the best way for people to remember what you did. If you're at a loss as to what to do, you could also do Q&A, although question and answer can be risky depending on how you answer questions. I've seen some people do it very well. I've seen some people do it horribly. <laughs> you choose, you try it out, but you could make part of your speech in five minutes and say, I'm going to do three points in a poem, I'm going to add in some stories, and then I'm going to do some question and answer, leaving my final story for the end. That would be a full, wonderful speech that you prepared in five minutes. 
Here's a bonus point that I'm gonna share with you. Rehearse out loud. Yep, if you only have five minutes to prepare, it's okay to start talking to yourself, even if people are like, that guy's crazy. That's something that's very interesting because when we talk out loud, we all of a sudden are able to connect all the dots that are happening inside of our mind. When we start to take notes on our phone and we remember what we want to say, this is something that's so important that you can do right away in order to make it so that you know what you're gonna say. After your five minutes are up, now it's time to take the stage in confidence. You have your opening, you have your closing, you have your middle, you're ready to roll. Your leadership promise matters. Part of your leadership promise is to be prepared and to be ready to give a speech even on five minutes notice. I've given you some actionable tools and I hope that this has been helpful. I hope that also you think about your signature moves that make you awesome. You need to share that which makes you great. Whether it's your ability to sing and dance or your ability to tell a joke and a story, you might have some fascinating tools that you've never actually tapped into. That's why I'm going to leave you with this great gift. If you want to go check out icmprocess.com, I'm going to show you what your signature moves are as you go through the ICM process. So go through identify, clarify, and magnifying your signature moves so you can keep your leadership promise. Go check out icmprocess.com and good luck on that speech. You have five minutes to prepare. You've got this.